The Armored Behemoth is back, bigger, stronger, and with new ways to use its rocks. Let's break those rocks once again as we take on Rockfall Skarn in this week's Behemoth Breakdown. Before we start, here are a few things you may want to know. Rockfall likes to attack frequently, leaving you little time to dodge compared to a normal Skarn. After attacks just like before, Rockfall will leave parts of its body exposed to attacks. And don't forget, you can also hit in between these small gaps in this behemoth's armor. Hammer users will be able to crush this behemoth's armor, but make sure you break those rocks for your teammates, otherwise they might have a tough time breaking parts for materials. Rockfall will flare its rocks when you first spot the behemoth and stomp the ground repeatedly before fleeing. Remember both these moves can deal damage, so don't charge in carelessly. The way the behemoth staggers hasn't changed, so don't expect any new reactions. The same goes for the total of locations you can break parts on the behemoth. Moving on to the moveset, let's first briefly go over the moves that haven't made any major changes. Roll overall hasn't changed much, but due to the size of Rockfall, you will probably have to dodge the attack to avoid it. If you're nearby the tail, it's possible the move will simply pass over you without needing to dodge. The time it takes Rockfall to start slamming the ground has greatly been reduced. You will have to quickly deal damage in order to interrupt this behemoth, so be careful not to overcommit. Another thing to watch out for is if you're next to the legs, you will no longer be safe without dodging. Drag is exactly the same, but expect to see this move used a lot more. Skarn will sometimes use this move twice in a row. As for Ram, no changes have been made. Starting with Spike, this move has made major improvements. Rocks rising up and Rockfall lifting its front legs, the behemoth will quickly slam the ground, shooting a spike up from the ground. Unlike before, this move is very fast, forcing you to dodge not just the spike, but also the rocks if you're close to the behemoth. It is possible to avoid the spike without dodging, but you must be sprinting at full speed in order to do so. The spike can also be found in other attacks that Skarn has at its disposal, so watch out. When you see Rockfall spreading its rocks out and away from its body, get away from the behemoth. Unlike before, this move is now mobile and spikes will try to hit you while you're being pulled by the behemoth. This attack can still be interrupted, but you will have to wait until the rocks are pointed on top before you are able to knock this behemoth out of its spin. Remember Chainblade and Repeater users, you will need special equipment or cells to interrupt this behemoth. Lifting all the rocks from its body high up in the air and lifting its front legs, the behemoth will send all the rocks in front of it and slam its back on the ground. You will have to possibly dodge twice in order to avoid this move. If you're up close, you can dodge towards or on the sides of the behemoth to safely avoid it. Entering its enraged state, Skarn's armor will ball up above the behemoth and rocks will spread out as Rockfall releases spikes and a shockwave towards the player. After that, Skarn will bunker down just like before but with increased attack speed. Stomps will also send spikes and shockwaves so be ready to dodge. Remember, if you see rocks start to slightly move, get ready to avoid it the moment they come flying out. If you plan to take on Heroic Rockfall Skarn, the Behemoth will be much stronger. Not only that, Skarn's attacks are now capable of inflicting Shell Shock, which will cause you to move slower and increase your stamina cost. Rockfall is both a fun and interesting Behemoth, so hopefully all the information I have given you will aid you in your next Rockfall Skarn encounter. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in Dauntless.